going into this solo episodes versus interview episodes, maybe we'll refresh your memory. You should do your solo because you should also be an expert. You could do your solo because that only has to be a five minute episode. So you're going to be able to have the trust and you're going to be the expert for your listener. Most hosts never achieve the results they hoped for. They're falling short on listenership and monetization, meaning their message isn't being heard and their show ends up costing them money. This podcast was created to help you grow your listenership and make money while you're at it. Get ready to take notes. Here's your host, Adam Adams. Hey, podcaster, it's your coach, Adam Adams, and I am here to help you do something on this episode. What is that? It's to make more money through your podcast. Making more money, meaning how do you show your listener that they can hire you and work with you? So for example, when we have just a whole bunch of interview episodes, I was offering some feedback to one of my clients. My client had me listening to some of his episodes and I noticed that he didn't have any solo episodes. I noticed that all of his episodes were just interviews. And then I thought to myself, like, he wants to make money. Why isn't he doing solo episodes? And I thought, oh, well, duh, he didn't know. (laughs) He didn't know how valuable these can be. And it's interesting because a solo episode is important and interview episodes is important. I really believe that you shouldn't do all solos and never do an interview because there's benefits to doing the interviews. And I'll share with that in a sec. And I think that you shouldn't do all interviews. I think there's benefits to solos. And I'll share that with you in a sec. So I am here listening to his podcast to offer feedback. And I listened to several episodes in a row. And I'm even scrolling through many episodes that I didn't even listen to. I listened to a bunch of them. And some of them I listened to a whole bunch of times. But as I was going through, I looked and it seemed like everyone that I noticed had somebody else's name on it. And I thought to myself and I said to him, hey, what the heck? You want to make money? And you're bringing on all these experts, right? And look at you highlighting these experts and what they're good at and that your listener could hire them, right? But what about them hiring you? You never talk about that. You never say that. You're never the expert. You never have individual like content that comes from you. Original content, I guess is a better word for it. You're doing your podcast and you're only highlighting these other cool people and you're never highlighting yourself. So your listener never really gets to know you. Your listener never really gets to know that you're good at the thing that you say you're good at. And so if they're going to hire anybody, they're going to hire all these other people. And now this client in particular does hypnotism, which is pretty freaking cool. Like That's something that I'm like, I don't even know if I could get hypnotized. But if what he says he can do actually can be done, that's genius. So I'm listening to all these episodes and out of a handful of episodes, almost all of them were him interviewing someone else who does hypnotism. And he keeps saying, how could you help somebody? How could you help somebody? Wow. Tell me a good experience. That Tell me a good example of how you helped one of your clients. And so he's highlighting that person over and over and over. And then he just says, tell my listener how they can get a hold of you. He never tells them how they could get a hold of him. And so this entire time he's going through his podcast and he's wondering, why is nobody hiring me? Well, nobody's hiring you because they don't even know what you do. They hear you telling them that these other people are good at what they do. They never hear you telling them that you're good at what you do. So that's why you're making no money on your podcast right now, bruh. Right? Just think about it. Going into this solo episodes versus interview episodes, I think I've painted the picture of why should you do the solo? Maybe we'll refresh your memory. You should do your solo because you should also be an expert. You should do your solo because, oh, we didn't say this part. You could do your solo because that only has to be a five minute freaking episode. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes, 10, 12 minutes. If you do a six minute episode on your own, is that faster or slower than sitting down with somebody else for an hour? Obviously, it's much, much, much faster. How many do you think you could do in the same amount of time? Probably three, four, five, or six different ones. So first and foremost, you're going to be able to have the trust and you're going to be the expert for your listener who hopefully is your perfect avatar, hopefully is the right person that needs to hire you to get them to the next level. 
And then the second part is you can probably do more in a shorter amount of time. Now, I have to admit that it's easier in a way to do those interview episodes because I freaking have to be there at that exact time. Like if I'm doing a solo episode and I don't have to do it at a certain exact time, I'm going to say, oh, I kind of got to pay my credit card payment today. Oh, I've kind of got to renew my car today. Ah, okay. I'll do my solo episode today, but I really have to go and get my oil changed. You know, or I've got to do the groceries. If I don't do the groceries, I've got to go pick up my kid. I've got this other call. I've got this other urgent thing. You always have something in your way. And so sometimes it's too easy, if you will, too easy to postpone the solo episode because you don't usually have somebody there to hold you accountable. So in fact, today, today I did have a kid concert to go to. And I said to my girlfriend, I said, Hey, when we get back to the house, I need you to make me go and record my solo episodes. And so she's there to hold me accountable. And that's what you might need. You need some type of accountability. If it is put in your calendar and you see it and you're like, Oh yeah, but this other thing is also really important. Or this other thing will make me money right now. And you might put it off. So it can be hard to record them because you're only accountable to yourself, but it can be easy to record them because you can make them shorter. Now, let's talk about a quick pro and con of these interview episodes. With interviews, your pro is that you kind of have to show up because somebody else is counting on you. Somebody else is waiting on Zoom for you. And so it means you're probably going to record. That's the pro. Another pro is that person who's a guest, they have a good chance, a possibility at least, of sharing it with their Facebook followers or their Instagram or LinkedIn followers. So if you have somebody else, you can do what I call Trojan horse marketing. And in short, that is during the Trojan War, the town of Troy was impenetrable and the Trojans came and pretended to give them a gift. And they did give them a gift genuinely, but it also had a couple of warriors in there that could unlock the gates. And when they unlocked the gates, they infiltrated and they were able to win the war. And that could be a way for you to be able to basically have other people on your podcast and in a way, leverage their audience, leverage the people that follow them. If and when they share it with their followers, their email list, et cetera, then you are able to, in a very awesome way, add value to their listeners and possibly pick up a couple new listeners. And another reason why maybe not to do it is because it takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of preparation. It takes effort to go and find the guest. It sometimes takes effort to vet a guest. Sometimes you actually have to delete an episode because the guest didn't come with a whole bunch of value. So there could be pros and cons, but I'm thinking as you leave this episode, as you go on past this episode, you should be armed with knowing that if you have interviews, you can grow your audience. And if you have solos, you can add more influence to your audience. And then there's one more sneaky trick to interviews. And that is if your your guest is the same type of person that you could serve as well. On my podcast, it is. I serve podcast hosts. I have a business called Grow Your Show. Grow Your Show supports podcast hosts around the country. And we help them to be able to offload all of the hard stuff. And so for me, I can easily help my listener. Obviously, I can help you. But also, if I only interview podcast hosts and and get them to add value to you, and I give them some value by giving them more exposure to what they're doing. And I also add value to them by saying, hey, I noticed this thing about your podcast. If you just tweak that one thing, you get more listeners. So I'm giving them a little bit of free coaching as well. And then we start recording and then we have a conversation. And now I have their email. And later on, I could always email that person and say, hey, do you need any services? Hey, do you want to offload your podcast production to my company? Hey, do you need some marketing or editing or coaching for this thing? And I'm able to serve them. So it can help for me to be able to make more money because I'm interviewing 
my avatar at the same time as I'm adding, giving content to my avatar. I'm interviewing a podcaster while giving content to a podcaster. So if you can find a way to do that, you'll get even more value. Don't go away. Stick with us because the next episode is going to be a good one for you. I'll see you there. If you're glad that you checked out the podcast today, if you got some value out of this episode, some actionable takeaways, I invite you to do one of three things. A, you could do a written review on Apple. Let us know what you think. Just an honest written review. B, you could share the podcast with a friend of yours who needs it. Or C, at the very least, implement what you've learned to take your business and your podcast to the next level. And I'll see you on the next episode.